everyone. Good morning. So happy to see everybody today. Good morning to my coaches. We had such a wonderful evening last night. We are so excited to be here. We want to thank you all for being here at the City of Arlington Rev Entertainment and Choctaw Stadium. It's our pleasure to announce that we have selected the stadium and the City of Arlington to serve as our football hub and base of operations. When DJ, Jerry, and I brought the XFL, we knew we had a unique opportunity to build a new future for football. We always had a clear vision for the XFL to be more than just a football league. It's for our players, the XFL is an opportunity to pursue and fulfill their professional dreams. For our fans, the XFL is innovating and captivating. It's not just something you watch, it's something you experience. And for our partners, it's a chance to align with our purpose and culture-driven brand and be part of building a league from the ground up. This hub is critical part of the vision and will serve as a core engine for our unique football universe. The concept brings together our teams, all of our teams, who will live and practice in this area. We're going to provide centralized locations to service our players, providing 360 degree support both on and off the field during the week. That's vital. For weekend games, the teams will travel to their home cities engage with their communities, and compete. We couldn't be more excited to be right here. In just a few months, Choctaw Stadium will be the home venue for the Arlington-based team and the practice facility for our Houston team franchise. Arlington will be our training facility for optimized player development. Staffed with on-site support from coaches and athletic trainers, and with our vision of building a global brand, the hub will serve as the Excel Fells Content Creation Center. And that's very, very exciting. So this allow the leagues, the teams, the players to engage with fans through social media, emerging technology, like no one has seen before. Together, we're going to create a new standard for accessibility. So we're going to experiment with different forms of interactive content for the fans and the players in new, unique ways. We're going to build a deeply immersive and personal fan base. Beyond the field, Choctaw Stadium and our partnership with Rev Entertainment will provide the opportunity to build our brand as a live event of entertainment company rooted in dynamic football, delivering compelling content for fans across the globe. We'll have flexible space for in-person in fan events and lead tentpole announcements, tentpole announcements, sorry, more caffeine this morning. <laughs> Um, allowing us to build a worldwide audience and develop deep community relationships. Choctaw Stadium is our home, and as, as we love to say, tomorrow's league starts today. We want to thank you all for joining us, and I look forward to working with all of you throughout the entire season. Thank you so much. Thank you, Danny. It's remarkably exciting to think that in six months, this stadium will be the new football hub of the XFL. And there are endless possibilities when it comes to fan engagement, league events here at Choctaw Stadium. With more on the XFL's partnership with Choctaw Stadium and Rev Entertainment, please welcome Sean Decker, President Rev Entertainment, to the stage. John. Thank you, guys. Good morning. Um, just for the record, I just got to, I'm following Danny Garcia and Dwayne Johnson just told me not to screw this up. So it's a pretty great day for me already. I, um, I got a lot of time this weekend to think about uh, what, what we'd say here and, and kind of what today means to our group. Um, and um, a lot of things, kind of thoughts, emotions kind of came rushing as we thought about putting this together, what it meant. And to the residents of Arlington, the Choctaw Stadium would continue to be a beacon in the entertainment district. And I thought about how, what a big day it is for that. I thought a lot about the 90-day conversion of this facility and the massive investment that ownership put forth to make this a home for high school football games, hundreds of them, with some of our partners here today that we're so proud of, for professional soccer, professional rugby, and now the XFL. What a massive day it is for that. I thought about the city of Arlington and their unwavering commitment to bring championships to this place, to this city, to this district, and ultimately how they've backed it up for more than a half a century now. And I thought about what a big day it was for that. I thought about our great partners at Choctaw 
And I thought about how we spent a lot of time with a vision, with a dream for what this could be, and their confidence to put their name on this building after the Rangers moved out. And I thought about what a special day it is for that. I thought a lot about our Rev team. I thought a lot about how I'm the luckiest guy in America to get to come work with these guys every day and how they have an unwavering commitment to work backwards from yes. And that what we've worked with, the, how we've worked with the XFL so far has been great, but this is really just day one. Lastly, I thought about our friends and our family now at the XFL and how far that's gone for us and how important of a day today is for that. It's, I think anybody in the room that's been around could tell you this is a pretty unique relationship. The goal was never just to be a site for the XFL. The, all, the goal was always to be the home of the XFL. The way that our staffs have assimilated together to work on this, to dream together, and to have a lot of fun together, I think is unprecedented in sports, and it's been, and we're just at the beginning now. So a big thanks to those guys. Today's not possible without all of those things coming together, all those components in one way or another, and it's, it's, a, it's a really big deal. I want to thank our owners from Rev and the Texas Rangers and Ray Davis and Neil Liebman for their confidence in this vision and this idea. I want to really thank Danny and DJ and Russ and the whole XFL team for believing in us. We're just getting started, I can assure you that. Today is an absolutely massive day for Rev Entertainment and the Texas Rangers. It's a landmark day for the city of Arlington and Choctaw Stadium. We were so excited to have football here this weekend, and uh, we cannot wait uh, for what's to come and what starts right now. Thanks a lot. Sean, congratulations, you didn't screw it up. Which, by the way, on that note, both my daughters, when I was leaving this morning, these are 16 and 14-year-olds, they woke up to see me off to this thing and said, Dad, there's some really important people there. Please do not embarrass the family. So, I'm, Sean, I'm right there with you, man. I'm, still, I'm, I'm, I'm in step, coach. As the XFL makes Arlington its new home, it's only fitting that we now welcome Jim Ross, mayor of Arlington to the stage. Mayor? Wow. I have this huge urge to say real loud, can you smell what Arlington is cooking? But I would never infringe upon Dwayne Johnson's trademark shout. Uh, this is so incredibly exciting. And first of all, I want to thank Danny. I want to thank Russ and Dwayne Johnson for, for selecting Arlington to be the base. If you haven't discovered the new Arlington, you're missing out. If you remember where Arlington was 15, 20 years ago, we were still that bedroom community lying between two large cities. And we're no longer a bedroom community lying between two large cities. With the addition of the Arlington team of the XFL and the XFL coming here, if you include our eSports stadium, which is second to none, we now have six professional sport, sports franchises here in Arlington. That's exciting. Nobody else can be saying that kind of stuff. We have nearly $1 billion of development going on right now. And if you haven't seen some of the exciting things going on with our new Lowe's Hotel, what's happening here in Choctaw Stadium with the addition of the XFL and Spark and everything else, Sean, thank you all for everything that you're doing here. It is absolutely a blessing to be the mayor of Arlington at this particular time. We do something better than any other city. And I think it had something to do with the XFL selecting Arlington. We're not the prettiest. We're not necessarily the best at everything. But we're really good at relationships. It's the reason why the Rangers came here 50 years ago and never left. It's the reason why all of the sports franchises are coming here is because we know how to treat people. And what the XFL has in common with the city of Arlington is they know how to treat people. They take care of their players. They take care of their coaches. But they also take care of the community. Because if you didn't notice last night, Coach Phillips, I'm sorry they booed you a little bit. 
But if you didn't notice last night, this is a community that is excited about the XFL coming here. They are excited. And it's because of people like Danny and Dwayne and Russ who know how to build those relationships with their fans and with the city. So thank you all for what you're doing with this community. I cannot tell you how excited we are that you're here in Arlington. God bless. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Next, I'd like to welcome Russ Brandon, president of the XFL to the stage. Russ. Jim, I think you're the prettiest. <laughs> Thank you for everything. As everybody knows, building the league is a monumental task. Monumental task. And our goal was to be an active member of a community. We looked far and wide, and we chose the city of Arlington. With our players scheduled to be here from January to May, we will be an active member of the community. We will be here day in and day out. Thanks to you, Jim. In order to make it happen, we needed a true partner. And we found it in Jim Ross, the mayor of Arlington. Thank you, Jim. In addition, our partners at Rev Entertainment, the Texas Rangers, can't say enough about Sean, Jared, the whole team there. Ownership, thank you for everything you've done. This is, it's not only a partnership, it's a family to make this all happen. So thank you. And part of the challenge in doing this was finding a hub that could house our athletes. And we found that here in the city of Arlington. We found these locations. We're proud to announce that we have partnered with some exceptional facilities around the high school area. We're going to look at those now. Reggie Barlow with Washington, D.C., and Anthony Beck from St. Louis will share Vernon Newsom Stadium. Terrell Buckley and his Orlando team will share Northwest ISD Stadium with Heinz Ward and the San Antonio team. And Jim Hazlitt with Seattle will share Dragon Stadium with Rod Woodson and our team in Las Vegas. These are incredible facilities, and I need to acknowledge the school's athletic directors for working in partnership with us. Philip O'Neill from Mansfield Independent School District in Vernon Newsom Stadium. Bill was the first person I met when we came to Arlington. Thank you for your leadership. Joel Johnson from Northwest Independent School District in Northwest ISD Stadium. Thank you. Taylor Fiedler with Carroll Independent School District and Dragon Stadium. Thank you. We're so pleased. We are truly grateful for all of these partnerships and we are so excited for the XFL to be here in Arlington. Can't thank everybody enough. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Russ. Next to the stage, I'd like to welcome a global entertainment, fitness, and entrepreneurial trailblazer. He serves as co-founder and CEO of Seven Bucks Companies, founder of the fastest growing tequila in the history of all spirits. Terramana tequila, I've had it. It's good, it's tasty, and it goes down sweet. Fastest growing energy drink in the market, Zoa Energy, and he is social media's most followed American man in the world. And I see we have a last minute addition here from DJ himself. People Magazine's sexiest man alive in perpetuity. And my wife and daughters would agree. Ladies and gentlemen, Dwayne Johnson. Wow, Ian, thank you for that. I appreciate it, buddy. Um, earlier, Ian said, hey, I just want to make sure. Good morning, everybody, by the way. Good morning. Um, good morning. Good to see my coaches. You guys are looking good. They're still hungover from last night. Listen, the most important thing is uh, Ian had said, hey, I want to make sure that I say your Terramana correctly. 
that I've been saying it correctly. How do you say it? And I said, well, you just said it, Terramana. I said, so you've been saying it drunk all these years. He said, I have. <laughs> so thank you for that intro. Um, I, I want to start off with, uh, with something that um, uh, Coach, uh, not Coach, excuse me, uh, but Mayor Jim Ross had said. Um, and by the way, Mayor, when you get up here, like, you, you, you can, there you are. You can say, you can, like, get right into it. If you smell like it, go ahead, man. It's Arlington. This is a big one, right? Um, actually, I'm going to hold on, on what you said, something, and, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save it to the end because it was really important. Uh, and I thought it was such a strong, powerful thing that you said. Um, the XFL has officially landed in the great state of Texas, the great football state of Texas, and we couldn't be happier to partner with the city of Arlington, the Texas Rangers, Rev Entertainment, Choctaw Stadium, and establish our new football hub. Um, and I got to tell you, you know, this, this is, um, Choctaw Stadium is, is a special place, and I found that out myself. Not only uh, will it be our main stadium uh, for our hub here in Texas, but when I landed, I called up Sean Decker, and I said, hey, man, you know, could you let me in? I'd like to work out. And I was, I was here working out at midnight the other day, the other night. And around 1 o'clock in the morning, I decided to come out here to the field and just kind of soak everything in. Um, because I realized, like, what, what a special opportunity this is for us of the XFL. What a special opportunity this is for uh, the city of Arlington and the great state of Texas, where we have three football teams. So I spent some great time out here. Just me and no one else. Maybe the ghost, if you believe in ghosts, like I do. Uh, but, you know, this is a state that loves its football and a community that knows how to support uh, its teams. So when Danny first brought the idea of buying the XFL to me, uh, first of all, it was the easiest yes that I've ever said. And we both knew that it needed to be uh, something different for the fans, for the players, and for the culture of football. And we like to say that the XFL is a league of opportunity and a chance for all of our players to prove themselves. Um, from sunup to sundown. Now, over the past uh, few weeks, we've had our six showcases, and we've had 1,300 players work out for us, all invite only. And these invitations and our invitations to the draft are going to be sent out shortly. And, you know, this, the XFL is something that's deeply personal to Danny. It's deeply personal to me, too, because I know what it's like to be that player who almost makes it to a professional team. You know, my goal was to play in the NFL. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I played at the University of Miami. Uh, we became national champions. I played with some of, the, some of the greatest players of all time who are now in the NFL Hall of Fame, some of the greatest coaches uh, who these men have played against and have coached with too as well. So my goal was to make it in the NFL, and, and that didn't happen. And I always like to say that... Um, there are 53 men on an NFL roster. Well, I was always number 54. I was that guy who coaches said, hey, DJ, you're good, uh, but you're not good enough. And, and, you know, this is where the dream ends for you. But that chip that that put on my shoulder and that flame that that thing created, being told you're not good enough at something, that has never gone away. It will never go away. But that same chip and flame, that's who our XFL players are going to be. And... That's what's going to drive them. That's going to be their purpose. So it, it, it is deeply personal to me. And now life comes full circle. And it's kind of, it's always amazing to me just how God and the universe works in that wild, ironic way. Where years later now, Danny and I have the amazing opportunity to create these opportunities for other players who are in my position, um, who didn't have the shot, didn't have the opportunity like I have, like I, like, like they, like I didn't have. Uh, but they have it now. So this hub is an extension of that. It's a league of opportunity, a hub of opportunity. Uh, and that's what Arlington represents, is opportunity for these players uh, to do something that they love, play with passion, live out their dreams, take care of their families. Um, and we want to give the players every opportunity to, to, to succeed and show the world what they can do. And we're going to develop them by providing tools and the training that they need. And, and we're going to use this space here in Arlington to Arlington to make sure that we harness the power of, of innovative technology and to create content and develop the next generation of loyal fans. Their success, the player's success, will become ultimately our success too. If they win, we win. Truly, it's that simple. 
We want to build a loyal fan base and grow the game of our global brand, the XFL. And together, we're going to create a new standard for the future of sports entertainment and live entertainment. You know, and this idea of live entertainment is something that Danny and I know very well. Came from that world. Um, and it's not just something that you watch. That's another thing, too, with the XFL. It's not going to be something that you just watch. It's going to be something that you experience. And that's what we can't wait to implement into our games. I want to thank everybody who has made this a reality. And um, I want to wrap this up. This is what I wanted to say is, you know, Mayor Ross, you, you said Arlington might not be the prettiest or might not be the best at everything. Uh, but you guys know relationships. And Danny and I have always said this. We've, we've built our careers based on, yes, at one time in the professional wrestling business, yes, the Hollywood entertainment business, um, a few other businesses, Terramana Tequila, Ian's favorite. Um, but most importantly, we're in the relationship business. And that is what this represents. So this partnership with Arlington and our hub here in Arlington, uh, this is not a one-off. It's not a one deal. It's not, a one, it's not a one event deal. Like we, we are looking to build something great uh, for the culture of football, for the fans, for the players, for the coaches. Uh, and that's going to take some time. Uh, but we have the talent, we have the vision, we have the trust, we have the work ethic uh, for sure. So thank you for that comment, uh, uh, Mayor. And, um, and thank you guys very much. And I look forward to kicking off our season in February. I appreciate you. Thank you, guys. The difference here, he's working out at midnight. I'm, I'm fighting Terramana at midnight. There it is. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, DJ. It's all very exciting. The XFL season may be kicking off in 2023, but the XFL is officially here in Arlington, Texas. Before we all head down to the field for some photos, we would like to welcome back up Danny, uh, Russ, as well as Sean, Jared Schramm, uh, Madison Sanfilippo from Rev Entertainment for a true Texas gift. God, i got to get a pair of these. Custom Lucchese cowboy boots. So thank you, everyone, for coming. All the coaches, your unbelievable resumes. We appreciate everybody being here today. Thank you so much.